Oh, welcome to another episode of the Citizen Zone, and it's your host, I'm Manuel, and today we're talking a little bit more about censorship, 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 and the uh, collective beatdown that just got dropped on uh, Parlor from all angles. I mean, this is the craziest thing that we've seen. Although, it's not exactly the first time that we've ever seen this situation actually fall upon our laps, if you remember that good old bastion of truth and freedom of speech, Gab.ai, then you'll remember that this isn't the first time that we've actually seen a situation such as this unfold before our very eyes. And right now, you know, this is probably the most corrected and directed approach at one organization in particular that I've ever seen. I mean, we already saw them all target Parler in a interesting way by removing it off of the app stores. We knew that was coming because it's the same thing that happened to Gab. It's the same thing that happened to Gab. It's like everything that happened to Gab is all of a sudden happening to the Parler people. It's like, did they not do their market research? Were they not really like actually trying to figure out what's going to help them, what's not going to help them? There's like a few things that you probably should have thought about. Like number one, probably not being on Jeff Bezos' Amazon service. That's probably like a no-brainer right there. Yet, oh my God, so many different people have decided that, okay, yeah, look, we're just going to build our entire business on this thing and we're going to be about free speech, but we're going to build it on a platform that's not about free speech. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we saw Andrew Torba last year raising untold oodles and noodles of money to deliver us a new platform called Gab that's actually kind of similar to something else that's out there called Mastodon, which is basically something that anybody can put up on themselves. He just branded it to his own thing, and he did pretty well, except for the thing runs like crap because apparently they don't really know how to keep it together, and he's not really getting any help from the developers to keep it moving forward because, you know, they don't really like him very much because most of those guys are pretty fascist, communist mother suckers, so... I mean, it remains to be seen how that one's going to shake out. But, you know, Parler was supposed to be the big spot that uh, Donald Trump was going to land on. But Parler has been getting taken out to the point where Amazon's pulling their hosting. And these guys don't have backups and stuff to just simply move to another channel. And even if they did move to another channel, you know what comes next is that they're going to try to ban the shit out of those guys, too. And that's part of the 1984 apparatus. If they don't want you to exist on the Internet, they're going to use every means possible to go to the companies that host your websites and things of that nature to get you taken off and that's how far they've gone with parlor just because they do not want to give donald trump any more voice because they say that he's been inciting riots and stuff like that i mean i don't know it seems like you know for seven months cnn and a whole bunch of other people were inciting riots that were in the government but hey apparently we're not allowed to talk about those things so the main thing here to think about is that this is a corrected and correlated effort at this one area, but you know what? Do they really deserve any type of like, oh, I'm sorry you guys had a bad time. Oh, that, that happened to you, my bad. You know, do they really deserve that? And in my opinion, it's really like no, because they didn't do their due diligence to in the first place make sure that they were not, to make sure that they were censorship resistant. I mean, if you're going to start a website that has something to do with uh uh freedom of speech and places that have to do you know non-censorship that you should probably be on a hosting platform provider or something that doesn't allow for censorship because uh haven't you seen what's happened to HN? haven't you seen what they've done to acude haven't you seen that finally they've taken up HN from cloudflare i mean this is a thing that everybody's been looking at and waiting for but nobody's actually realized that this is actually going to be a big thing moving forward and guess what it's going to be a big thing moving forward and there's not much that we could do about it to stop it. So it's like, are you really seeing how they're trying to control the narrative to the point where you can't even build something like this? And even if you tried to build something like this, they're going to try to stop you. So you better understand and know exactly what happened to your competitors. Because literally, like, this is like antitrust level type actions that these guys are taking like people are actually going after their competitors and trying to get them eviscerated from the internet off of some bullshit but now all of a sudden we apparently have 
the Democratic Congress or, you know, a Democratic president is just going to allow this type of fascist communism to exist in our beautiful country. So think about this shit going forward and how they're really going to be putting us down a new path. And it's not a path that I think anybody really wants to go down. But we have to be positive and we have to be secure as we're moving forward in this one because for in the very near future, there's not going to be anywhere for you to speak freely. I mean, even on the platforms that are supposed to be freedom of speech, like DLive and stuff, even those ones are taking carte blanche in these times to basically start, finally get rid of some of their bigger problems that were a real big issue. So understand that this is the future and this is how we have to fight. We got to fight in a new arena and we got to be able to at least keep that arena open because they're not even going to let you gather anywhere so think about that moving forward also let me know what you think in the comment section below hit that like button and subscribe and uh, i'll definitely see you on the end of next one be excellent to each other and adios